Hey everybody, welcome back inside the Mind of Matt. And I've got a filament jam. I don't know exactly what's causing it, but I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Want to come along? Hang out for the rest of this video. Alright, so this happened last night. Printed some red, printed this little turtle, and it printed great. I put in some glow in the dark green, and I come back and it had totally failed. And I don't know exactly. Actually, this is the second attempt. This is the first attempt, and it was with the glow in the dark, and it just just stopped extruding. But I caught it before it went too far, and then I said to heck with it, and I put my other green in because it didn't necessarily request um, glow in the dark, but they did request green. So I put my other green in. And throughout the whole print, you can see some inconsistencies. Um, I've tried to, con you know, consider the fact that it was getting, you know, caught up in my tube. That wasn't it. And right now, my extruder is set at 260 degrees, and I've got this piece of filament. It, it's stuck. I can't get it out. So. I gotta disassemble this. Well, I'm that far. I've got another mount that I've been kind of waiting to put on. So I guess I'm gonna put that on while I've got everything disassembled, which I really don't want to do because it's gonna take time to put it back together. But I'm gonna do it. So let's stick around and see well, what, what happens. What I've done is I've removed the fan from heater and it just allowed it to heat up enough inside of here now what I think is happening is that there's either a clog in there which would be evident once I take it apart but what I think is that the end of this tube is not meeting up inside of the hot end the way it's supposed to and with retraction it kind of comes out a little bit pulling the filament back and then it kind of beads up a little bit when it goes to push it back in and then it won't go back in so I've just got to check to see whether or not this is all I it only seems like it happens with green but I don't know but I see some red remnants around here so there's probably some build up in there I've been changing from one filament to the next so I'm going to take this thing apart it's hot right now, so I want to get it apart while it's hot. The other thing is, is that this fan shroud, at one point in time, my thermistor came out, and I had a thermal override, and it just went crazy. Luckily, I was right here when it happened, but my PLA fan shroud kind of melted a little bit. This is hot and get really hot. I don't even know how hot it was, but it was hot. So, all right, I'm going to take this apart. everything's out I'm gonna turn it off now and let this cool off all right so it turns out I don't have a nozzle that fits because uh, this is what a e3d nozzle looks like and that is what the stock a net 
nozzle length looks like. So, it's not going to quite work. So I've got to get this thing unclogged. Now, I haven't ordered um, any special drill bits or anything yet, but I did have an idea. The finest thing that I had, other than a needle, and this may be barbaric to you guys, but it's going to work, I'm thinking. Okay, and it's a wire brush. That is a strand off of it. I measured it. And it's point less than point four. So my nozzle being point four should be able to use this to poke in here and get whatever's in there out. Except for I gotta warm it back up. So that means I've got to put it back in here and turn this back on and work with it hot. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, this thing's warmed up. Yeah, I was going to get you close, but I'm just going to try to get it into the hole. Now I'm going to show you guys something else. I don't know if you've ever uh, run across this, but this is called cleaner filament. Um, it was like $13.95 for this package and I've used it on a couple occasions. I tried to use this um, before I go taking anything apart. And all you got to do is just you know cut a section of it off and feed it into your extruder and it'll clean out residues. You see that it melted right down makes it clear. You can see a little bit of gunk. Throw it around, try to push it through. There might be a better method for this, but I'm just a newbie, remember? Gonna have to order some spare parts though. Alright, well, I looked around for my fan shroud, and I couldn't find the one I wanted, and um, I really got things I need to print, so I am going to just put this back on this mount for now, and we will save that mount change for another day.
sorry for the disappointment. But we need to be printing. All right, so the next order of business is I got looking through my maker's box for, and uh, I happen to have this. It's green PLA from uh, Mono Direct Filament. It, it just needed to have, be a green turtle, so we're going to try this green PLA and see what we get. Now because this is like this, I, I can't leave this thing unattended for too long, so I'll be here for this print. But I do have a almost an empty roll here. Just to try a different approach to this. All right, there you have it. One maker's box sample on a roll. So we're going to load this up and try to see if this nozzle is still clogged before I can move forward with the prints. Got to let this warm up. I'll be right back. All right, this thing's all warmed up. Let's see if I can push this through. Thing that goes going all right. So I got to go through and check my uh, my nozzle height and everything. Uh, I don't know if this video is going to get too long, so if uh, this is the ending point. I'll be asking for your subscription, for you to like uh, the video, and uh, set your notification to keep coming back. If there's more after that, then you can still subscribe now. Hit that like button and uh, hit the like button that's down there. And we'll keep it going. Alright, I think I'm back on track. Might actually be a little too close, but I'm letting this layer print and this one do go. Um, but I did make a, just a minute adjustment on my uh, little fine adjustment there. But I think I got a good first layer going at least. It's nice and mushed. So, alright, I'm going to let this print. I'll show you the results at the end. We're not going to do a time lapse because uh, I have to take my camera off and uh, I have to do something with that and that's going to require me to take it all apart again. So that'll be for another video also. I'll be back with the final results here. Okay, it's been several hours later. Um, it's been quite uh, an, an adventure. Um, all right, so the conclusion that I came to is that it was this, okay? Um, my temperature wasn't hot enough, creating it to bind up in my hot end, and it was pushing my Bowden tube out just enough inside the connector where it would beat up, and then it would try to feed and then retract, and it just created this, this horrible jam. Um... I, I had to take it apart again after I recorded all that footage that you've seen. Um, I went to a different filament, tried to see if that would print right. Um, one that I knew I had recently successfully printed. Still caused issues, tore it apart again. 
finally I just came to the conclusion that I was just going to bump up the temperature a little bit and see if that helped and that's how I came to the conclusion um, I, I just printed this out with the maker's bot green that I failed with and I ended up going back to it I bumped it up to 240 and uh, it literally just finished and uh, it's not completely cooled off so I got to remove the supports and then deliver it so anyways it was a struggle but you know I needed to have my printer printing so that you know I could do what I do in my little man cave so anyways don't forget to subscribe hit that like button share on your social media get the word out make some comments give me some suggestions keep coming back have a great day everybody happy printing